In this video, we will solve a complex SQL interview question. For that, we are going to create a table called as vehicle. And for the vehicle table, it will be having three columns. The first column is car ID, which is in which is an integer and is going to be the primary key column and will be assigned one more constraint that is the identity constraint. The second one is company column, which is a variable character column. And the third one is a car column, which is also a variable character column. And then we are going to insert data into the vehicle table. First of all, let us go ahead and create the table and insert data into the vehicle table. Then let us see what we are going to do here. So we have completed creating the table and also we have inserted data into the table. Now let us query the table and see what is the data within the table. So select star from vehicle and we have the three columns and the data. We are going to try and populate the last nominal values from the company column into the rows whichever is having a null value. So for example if I take this first record as an example Mercedes value should be populated to all the null values following the Mercedes row. Similarly when coming to OD the next two null values should be populated by OD and when coming to Lexus row which is the 8th row the 9th and 10th row which is having null value for the company column should be populated by Lexus. That is what we are going to try and accomplish here. Let us start writing the query. So we'll start with a select clause. Select the column which we require are company, car ID and car name. So the first column is company. Then let us take car. Then the other column is car ID column. Now what we are going to do here is we are going to create a new raw number based on the raw number function raw number over we don't want a partition close here we only want a order by close here order by car id column in ascending we will give the name as new underscore id and this is from the table vehicle table and after that we will give a where close and we want only records which has a null in the company column where company is null let us run and see what is the result we have the result for which only null values are appearing in the company column now let us keep this inside a CTE that is our first CTE that is common table expression so with CTE1 as the below query then coming down let us join this table to the first vehicle table that is the initial vehicle table select star from vehicle table let us do a left join ct1 that is on vehicle dot car we are going to join the table based on the column car ct1 dot car now let us execute the query and see what is the result. We have a new table being created which contain the new ID column which we created using the first CTE. Now let us take only the required columns from this table. So we don't want all the columns. We only want vehicle dot car ID. Then the second column is vehicle dot company comma next column is vehicle dot car and from the CTE we want the new ID column CT1 dot new underscore ID now let us execute this once again uh, we have got some error there are some typo mistakes let us correct that so yeah it's vehicle it's not VHCILE and the second error is the same thing now uh, also we have to change the company name P A N Y now it should be giving the result now we have the four columns which are required for further processing now let us create a new calculated field where we subtract car ID from the new ID column that is vehicle dot car ID minus CT one dot new underscore ID let us see what is the result we are getting. 
and let us name this column as new partition execute this we have a new partition column created based on which we will do partition in the further processing so when we see the result here we can see for the record which is having Mercedes the new ID is null and new partition is also null but for all the three records below the first first row we have new partition as one so what we can do here is if we had a one in the first column as first row as well for the new partition we could have used the first value window function in SQL and we could easily get the Mercedes value to get populated to all other null rows below the first row now we will modify the new partition calculation because we require one corresponding to Mercedes for Audi instead of this null we require two and for Lexus instead of this null we require three for that we are going to process this calculation a little bit for that we are going to modify this ct one dot new id column so we will take a if condition that is if ct one dot new id is null comma then let us use a lag function lag ct one dot new underscore id over we don't want a partition just a order by clause order by vehicle dot car underscore id and if the condition is not true we want the ct dot new id column only in the result that is ct one dot new underscore id now let us run this once again and see what is the result now we have two corresponding to audi and three corresponding to lexus but one thing did not got changed that is the mercedes even now is having null for the new partition for that let us write a case statement here that is case when vehicle dot car underscore id equal one then one else the equation which we have created and finally we will end the case statement with an end clause now let us run the query and see what is the result we have the same error once again it is because of the typo error v e h i c l e now we should have the result execute this and we have the new partition which is created based on our requirement now let us take only the columns which are required for further processing that is we require the car id column company then vehicle car we don't want the new id column let us comment the new id column execute this and we have the result which is having four columns let us keep this query inside a second ct ct2 as now let us use the first value function from sql select company comma car comma first underscore value open and close parenthesis and put company inside the parenthesis over partition is based on the new partition column which we have created that is partition by new underscore partition order by clause is based on the car id column order by car underscore id in ascending order and this is the new company column and this is from the previous ct that is from ct2 let us execute and see what is the result we are getting we have the new company column which is created and which is being populated with the previous non null value ordered based on the car id column let me carry the car id column also here car underscore id execute this and we have the expected output let us remove this old company column also from the result and let us once again on the query and this is the result that we were looking for the script to create the table and insert data will be provided in the description and if you like the video subscribe our channel thank you